Sterling in number 10 is setting a cracking pace and immediately puts in a new sports car record. Jaguar have set themselves a big problem in this race. Mercedes can afford to blow up a car and still have two left. Jaguar have not given themselves this chance. Through the hairpin, Mike is leaving his braking late and hard, using every inch of road, and with the car sliding as they leave the corner. Watch Fangio as a contrast. At Leathenstown Bridge, he's on Hawthorne's tail. But Mike doesn't give in easily, and a terrific battle takes place. Sterling is in with tyre trouble, which must have given him a nasty moment, and caused most of the bodywork above the tyre to become entirely superfluous. He seemed to disagree with the team manager over something or other. And no one seemed to want us to get a good look at that tyre. After over two minutes, Fitch took the car away, but now in second place. Titterington had got past him in the Jaguar during the stop and now led the race. Now we see what Moss and Fangio mean to Mercedes. Good driver though he is, John Fitch finds himself losing over 12 seconds a lap to the young Ulsterman. It's an idea, I suppose. Titterington and the Jaguar is over two minutes ahead of the leading Mercedes. But now Moss has been put back and is slowly cutting down the lead. And on the straight after the hairpin, he streaks into the lead. Mike hangs onto him grimly for a lap, but Sterling is not to be stopped, and he pulls away steadily. The end of the race draws near, but even at this last moment, another fatal blow is struck at the Jaguar hopes. Mike walks back to the pits, his car locked solid way up the road. It's been a tremendous lone hand drive, but it has proved once again how hard it is to beat the machine. And so to the chequered flag, and another one, two, three victory for Mercedes. My, that was quick. And Sterling seems to be in a hurry to get into the paddock too. Ah, that explains it, of course. It's the boy's birthday. And to win the tourist trophy for the third time, when you're only 26 years of age, must be quite something to be proud of. And so ends the Golden Jubilee International RAC Tourist Trophy. A great race, run on a great circuit, and won by a truly great British driver.